Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video I wanted to talk about this incredibly looking asteroid that also has one of the coolest names out there. This is 16 Psyche, discovered over 100 years ago and this is an asteroid that is actually very unusual for our solar system. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So this right here is one of the most massive asteroids in the asteroid belt, located somewhere between 2.9 and 3.3 astronomical units away from our sun, and it's an asteroid that is unusual in one simple way. It is mostly consistent, almost entirely consistent, of metal. As a matter of fact, almost um, over 90% of this asteroid is entirely iron-nickel core which actually makes this also one of the most dense, if not the densest objects in our solar system. More dense than even our planet Earth. And our planet Earth is already quite dense by itself. Now, originally this asteroid was discovered uh, over 150 years ago, back in 1852 by an Italian astronomer, Annibale de Gasparis, who actually decided to name it after the Greek mythological figure Psyche. And since this was actually one of the first asteroids to be discovered, specifically number 16, it was also given a symbol, and its symbol kind of looks like a semicircle topped by a star, which represents a butterfly's wing. But what's really interesting about this particular asteroid is of course the fact that it is almost entirely made up of an iron core. As a matter of fact, most scientists today think that this is actually an asteroid that used to be a much larger um, bodily object, maybe similar to Ceres and Vesta, and eventually through collisions with other things, other objects in this particular region, it lost its rock shell and what remained instead was this metallic core that we see now. And because it's so large and because it's essentially just a metallic core, it's very likely that this object also has a magnetic field around it. So this might actually be one of the few, if not the only asteroids out there with a magnetic field. But having a magnetic field on an asteroid might not seem like a big deal, but it is. This is actually possibly one of the safest places for us to establish our first mining colony if we were to ever actually start mining asteroids, because here we would actually be protected from very powerful solar radiation that would otherwise possibly destroy a lot of equipment. Because solar flares do have quite a lot of effect on various equipment on Earth, and many satellites do suffer from the solar flares uh, if they're not protected by the magnetic field from our planet Earth. Now, no spacecraft has actually visited this object yet, but there might be a mission uh, that will be started in 2020 that will actually come for a flyby or even establish an orbit around this asteroid and possibly even try to analyze its surface and, of course, its internal iron core as well. And this particular mission will be known as the Discovery Program, and specifically here it's going to be known as Discovery Mission 13, and the uh, satellite that might actually end up there is going to be known as the Psyche Orbiter, whose uh, mission will include, of course, studying the outer layer, its uh, mantle, and of course the inner core as well, as well as a potential magnetic field and uh, any other uh, alloys that might exist on the surface. But what's even more interesting is that very recently we've discovered that this particular asteroid unusually also seems to have uh, some kind of a water or water derivative on its surface, either a hydroxyl, which is basically OH, or um, an actual water molecule, which would be H2O. And because we have no idea how this water may have actually arrived there, this would be a much more interesting mission that we initially planned for, which means that we might actually want to send um, a satellite that can actually study a lot more than just a metallic core, but specifically here, we're also talking about the various um, surface chemistry that might actually create these types of uh, unusual molecules and what effects that actually has on the actual asteroid. But what is more interesting in terms of uh, space sciences and specifically here understanding our own solar system is of course the fact that we get to study what seems to be an actual metallic core of an object. Here if we actually dig into the very very small mantle or if we actually find some kind of exposed core we might be able to study the metallic core which we actually haven't even seen on any other object yet. We know that uh, our own planet earth has metallic core, we know that many other objects do but we don't really know what it's like, what uh, its composition really is, and what it actually looks like. So this would be a very good opportunity for us to study the insides of the essentially protoplanets and find out what the actual core is like on, in the actual planets, including our own planet Earth, and possibly even figure out if there's anything else unusual about it that we haven't really realized yet. But most importantly, this is a great 
opportunity for us to study how the magnetic field forms because if we actually want to one day escape our solar system and find another planet to live on, we need to either find a way to actually start a magnetic field on a planet that doesn't have it yet, or find a planet that already has a very strong magnetic field, in which case we need to find some kind of a parameter that allows us to identify such planet before we go there. So in other words, having magnetic fields in an object such as uh, 16 Psyche would actually let us study not only the effects of the magnetic field, but also the actual factors responsible for creating it, because even today we're still not 100% sure how the magnetic field forms around different objects. And anyway, so that's all I wanted to say in this video, and I wanted to introduce this unusually named and unusually looking and unusually structured asteroid known as 16 Psyche, and hopefully you learned something from this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share this video with your friends, and possibly consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Thank you for all of your support, I love you guys so much, I'll see you in the next video, game you later, and as always, bye bye